I'm Katie Beakin and Colour Lock is my brand and I'm just going to show you some tutorials and step by steps for different designs, basic stuff and some more complex stuff so have fun watching guys, bye! We're going to do an extension now with the um, tri a French extension so we're going to build out a clear base first of all. Before we start we're going to prep the nail. So push the cuticles back. Remove any non-living tissue. If we leave any cuticle or non-living tissue attached to the nail, you're going to get pockets of lifting. That needs to be done thoroughly. And we're going to go over with the buffer, the 180 grit buffer, to remove the surface shine doing the perimeter first and then going over the entire nail then we're going to use the 180 grit file to remove the majority of this free edge we just want to leave the tiniest bit so we can put a sculpting form underneath then we're going to remove any of the dust by cleansing and dehydrate so it's ready for the form to go on So we're going to take a sculpting form, as we're using gel we're going to use a clear form. You can use forms that aren't clear but you'll just get a better cure time and quicker cure time if you use a clear form. You're going to anchor that under that free edge, place it flat at the back. Make sure it's coming straight out and you can start to close the form. And that's our platform to build from. So first of all we're going to use the tri gel which is clear. Because it's a tri gel, you can use it as a base, a builder, and a top coat. So first we're gonna get this brush ready. So we're gonna load this brush and make sure all those bristles have got gel between them. And we're gonna take a small bead And we're going to very gently start to press this into the nail. So it doesn't need to be thick. You just need to press it into the nail so it adheres to the nail. And when you start to come onto the sculpting form, which is the platform, you can start to apply it thicker. And we're just going to float over the gel and it will start to self level. And get straight side walls. And we're going to do an almond shaped nail again. Don't worry about building up your apex at this point. You clean your brush off. 
and then you can come in start to adjust your shape a little bit more and we're going to go into the lamp for 30 seconds out the lamp then this is where we're going to start to build so you're going to take a larger bead product it straight through the middle and wave over it and as you start to wave over it it'll start to self level and it'll start to build up the apex I'm going to come straight through the middle now So your side view is critical to keep checking. We put that straight in the lamp. We're going to put a thin layer over the entire nail. This is going to connect it all together. Gonna make sure the shape's still right. And get that straight in the lamp. Just gonna go in and pinch this at this stage. I'm just gonna give it a bit extra C curve. The contours will be a lot stronger. Pinching the entire length of the nail. Then we're going to take this form off, just going to quickly cleanse over to remove the sticky layer and we're just going to gently take this form off. It's quite a thin platform at the minute because we've still got to file it and we've still got to build on top of this because we're going to do a French look. So we're going to perfect this now by the side walls. And the free edge, you can start to get your shape how you want it. I'm going to abrase the whole nail. Especially this free edge because we're going to put the French jam onto that. Because it's a soak off gel, it's still quite soft to file. So it's super easy. You don't have to be aggressive, you don't need out no 100 grip files, the 180 grip file is perfect for it. Just going to remove any of the dust from that nail. And there's going to be dust on here now so we're going to fold that over so we've got no dust. You don't want to start wiping through with your brush and you get the brush covered in dust. Now we're going to open the French gel. Now this is purely just for using with your extensions. You can use it for art as well. So we're using the slightly smaller gel brush now. We're going to go straight on. And 
build this smile line. Pop that into the lamp for 30 seconds and I put another thin layer just to make it super white. So just float over the gel to keep the colour there. You can reposition it by just floating very gentle movements. and pop that in the light for 30 seconds. Yeah, I keep looking at the nail from all different angles to check that I've covered all the angles. And then I'm gonna clean over again. Again, we filed, so I'm just gonna turn the paper over. So we're gonna use the Tri gel as a top coat now. So, tri gel can be used for your base, your builder, and your top coat. So, we're just doing this thin layer, and you'll see it's self leveling as well. So we're going to cleanse the sticky layer away again. And that's your French gel extension. A little bit of oil. We are ready. Yes. Oh my god. So I can't do it. Um, welcome to. This is going in the bloopers, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take a million and one. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you duck? No, hold on. I'm gonna say if I start yeah. talking to you and cut myself out. Yeah. You're right, Kirsty. <laughs> Are you duck? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I'm gonna show you a bit of nail stuff. Oh, is that enough? Is that enough? Is that enough?